Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. We defeated the ogres in the last one and we got a really, really cool item. This one right here. Headband of intellect. Our intelligence is now 17. So one of our weaknesses now just kind of rocks, actually. So like we've got two things now that have plus threes and two skills that have plus twos. No, three skills that have plus twos. Strength is the only one that we're really suffering on. But yeah, that's some pretty cool stuff. Um, I also did do a little bit of inventory management. I moved um, five healing potions to each person. Um, and I sent all of my scrolls over to Gale because uh, it was just... I just wanted to clean up some of the things here. I also put a bunch of things into the pouch here. Some of our, um, you know, key items and uh, things that aren't regular books, etc. Here we go. Why these don't go to the top, I don't know, but we're going to move them up. Yes, we are. And boom, nice and clean. There we go. Okay, so we've explored a lot of this top world. There's a lot of stuff down below that we haven't fully explored yet, but we'll get there. Let's see what this does. No, 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 don't, don't go in there yet. We know what's down there and it's bad. Okay, so I think we've explored that house. We have not gone over here where these goblins are. We are a little bit low on resources. I believe that both Shadowheart and Vernak are out of spell slots. He's only got two. And you've got your slots, which is good. No one will ever believe this. Never wanted the easy path. Well, let's just see how it goes. A lot of people you got here. Oh, stop this thing! The goblin seems unsure whether to bow to you or attack. What, what do you want? Or oh, I, I mean, uh, what do you need? Hmm. Leave immediately. This prisoner is mine now. You want to take that little pipsqueak? But we're supposed to take him hostage! But you know that, of course. <laughs> Don't ya? <laughs> you are blessed, ain't ya? A true soul? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Okay. So we could just go straight for the Illithid, but. Hmm. I want to go for intimidation in this case. Say nothing and stare down the gibbering coward. Damn it, Asterion. Oh my god. We are scraping by some of these oh, rolls. Pardon, madam. I didn't mean to doubt you. I know my place. There's only a five. Well, that, that's that. We'll be on our way. Do as you like with the pipsqueak. The goblins slink backwards, afraid to take their eyes off you. I cannot believe I almost, I almost lost a five. Oh, do we stop him and ask questions? That could get us in trouble. That could get us into a fight. But honestly, we're probably, it, like, this game is going to do a good job, I think, of giving us experience either way. Whether you, um, whether you do things, you know, with a fight or not. Hmm. I have questions. Uh Ask the pipsqueak on the spinny tower. We're out of here. Okay, fair enough. All right, then. Fresh meat. Scared meat. Yes. Help. Bye, guys.
I wonder where they're going. Because they are going the opposite direction I expected them to go, if I'm being honest. Alright, had to restart my recording. So, I tried out DX11 today instead of the Vulcan engine for this game. But for whatever reason, both of them ran really smoothly. Like, the actual game ran smooth, but for whatever reason, my recording was choppy in OBS when I was using DX11, so... Um, we went back to Vulcan. So here we are. Very well. Okay. What's inside? Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna try and figure out how to stop it. I'm just gonna take my time. <laughs> All right, let's go inside of this thing and help him out. Poor guy. Wish I had a bag of holding. Nothing down. Oh, there are levers down here. Uh-oh, there's multiple levers down here. Help! Break lever. Nice of them to label it. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, it did stop him at the bottom. <laughs> I was going to say, do we have to actually figure out when to stop it? But no, they're, they're not doing that to us. Thank goodness. Okay, goblin bow. Hey, 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 get that bow. Get that bow. Hello? Alright, I guess we'll have to pick it up this way. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. See those ruins in the distance? Oh, don't worry. We'll make it there. We'll make it there. Looks like right here might have been a way for you to sneak into this area. Sneak past if you wanted to and completely ignore the encounter. Or just maybe hide up here and get the drop on him. Cut me loose! Yeah, what what's this guy's deal? What's in it for Free me? Free me and find out! <laughs> Fine. Bagger Kamara, there's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Do you work with them is kind of like my main question. Get on with what? I'm a deep gnome, you're a drow. You helped me, now you plan to enslave me. No, I'm not going to do that. It... You've only met Lulstro, it seems. What then? I mean, I could extort you if you really want me to. You're teasing me now. Yep. I'm certain of it. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. You're a little far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. 
Another deep but bound? I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. All right. Maybe we'll be able to help him. Okay, got another inspiration. I think we've got three right now. Okay, rescue the gnome. Anything of use? Okay. So if we look at our map, I think this is the first direction I want to go. So that we can do this Blade of Frontiers part of the quest. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to head out this way. So we've definitely got more to do in this town. We're just going to do some of it later. Can't go in there, right? a nice little swell in the music there. Campfire. Okay. Seems like somebody is here doing something. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Wind. Smash. Oh, smash. Yeah. Oh, no, we ruined their fun time. Oh, Don't this could be bad. Half ogre in the making. Okay, so right now we do have our symbiotic entity, so let's not wild shape right now. Um, if we lose our symbiotic entity, then we'll, we'll pop a wild shape. All right. Um, okay, that's not too bad. 35. You're, you're gonna take a little bit more, but if we can t uh, focus fire this guy, that could be pretty good for us. Okay, so just to reiterate, 5 to 17 damage on that. Yeah, that's, that's our best option. Critical hit! Yes! Okay. Get out! Okay. Man, I really like Shatter. Um, we're gonna Hex. Um, that also... Hold on. Is Hex a... Get out of there. It is a Warlock spell slot. Wait a minute. Didn't I use Hex on one of the Ogres in the last fight? So I should have used one of my slots there, shouldn't I have? Uh, either way, I think that um, we're, we're going to be doing a long rest soon anyway. And I'm going to hex it, um, the ogre's strength. Talk to me. Okay. Get in there. So 50% on that. Onward. these mortals be. Damn. He's so close, but we keep getting misses. He must have a decent uh, armor class. No, it's only 14. Okay. 1 to 4. Can't even get it. Should have shillelied. What was I thinking? Okay, we'll have shillelied for the next turn. <laughs> he 
He must have something that's doing that two damage. So he's getting two damage even when he misses. Okay, 70% on this. And then, yeah, that is an action. I should pop those before fights, but I guess we didn't know we were going into a fight in this one. Oh, because you missed last time. You got True Strike. That's right. That is very nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I was feeling a little bit bad until I found the mangled corpse that you guys were having dirty over top of. Now I don't feel so bad about ruining your fun times. Yep. Yeah. Let's kick his ass. Her ass. Okay, what does Bolthir's Wrath do? I'm assuming you did that because I killed your bow? Strength increased by four? Okay, but armor class is reduced. Okay, saved again, that's okay. And just to be sure. Yep, Shillelagh's on. Even on an 80. That sucks. Can't believe how colossally bad we roll sometimes. Even when the odds are in our favor. Swords meet sorcery. Okay, he might go down. But I think we've got this most... Well, okay, if you... Jesus, that's a lot of damage. I kind of want him to go after you, because once you lose your symbiotic, we can just pop a wild shape, but... Nice, that one worked. That one did not. each other in intimacy the next they're embracing only death <laughs> Gail you're a romantic aren't you <laughs> okay shadow hearts up man this poor guy All right, do we want to speak with Dead with him? The corpse does not respond. He's like, you know what? Leave me in the afterlife. The things I witnessed, um, I do not need to share with the world. Okay, what else we got here? Never wanted the easy path. I'm not sure where that book is. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Because in... In DOS 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, there was a key binding for... It used to just be like control click and you could add to wares. And I think that that existed in early access here, but then they made the multi-select with the shift and the control, which I think is awesome and good, but I bet you that there is still a button I can push to add to wares. I need to see if that's in here somewhere. 
Okay, we can rotate items when we're moving them. Oh man, it keeps adding these back in. I need to see if there's like a... Like an INI file or something where I can make this not happen. This is going to get me in trouble one of these days. I mean, it already kind of did, but... Sheath and unsheath weapon is you. Didn't know that one. Um, this did not work in early access, but I'm going to try it again here. I'm going to do a one of my mouse buttons. No, that was not a scroll up. I must have accidentally bumped that. Um, wait, where are you? Mouse X2? Is that the one I want? Let's do that one. That one's, yeah. We'll, we'll try that. Oh, yeah, I do have that mapped that way. All right, we'll try that. I forgot I did that. Prepare main attack. Did I really? Oh, my goodness. I did all sorts of things I forgot about. Middle mouse button? Oh, yeah, duh. All right, you know what? I don't care. Left alt is fine. We, we've been doing it that way. That makes more sense to me than prepare main attack. I'm never using it that way. Okay, we'll try it out. See if it works. It did not work in early access. Only the left alt would work with the show item labels, but we'll see if I can use it now. Um, okay, dual wielding is R. Group mode is G. We know that. Shift C, we know. Input mode. I don't know what that means. That hasn't really come into play yet. Elithid powers. Interesting. <laughs> Inspiration is P. Nope, I don't see it in there. I may have missed it. Somebody let me know if I did. Something good here, I hope. It does work now. Oh, my mouse shortcut does work. That's great. Okay. Thank you, Larian. That. Let's see, nothing to loot in there. Already did stuff over there. We'll venture around here just to be sure there's not anything we need. You know, I bet you if we had like a there's probably a jump ability that would have allowed us to traverse up this way. Ooh, a plus one dagger. A feast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Okay. So, sleight of hand. Carefully wiggle the dagger until it slides free. This method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Ooh, looks cool. Okay. 
Alright, well, if we bring Asterion back in. Mystery meat, tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Okay. We don't need that. <laughs> we'll go around here, make sure that there aren't any um, perception investigation checks. So we're getting a lot closer to the area for Will's quest. Some bad shit happened here. Hyenas. Alright, once again, we're low on resources, but let's see if we can make it through one more fight. I'd, I'd be pretty happy if I could make it through one more... What? Gale. Oh, he... M ah, glad you have a moment for me. My, um... Yeah, he needs something. ...predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume. Right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Okay, he seems pretty mad that we uh that we waited this this long. Give Gale a magic artifact. Um, okay, so we wanted to give him this, the cap of curing, because uh, we don't have a bard. I don't think we are gonna have a bard. Could be wrong, but definitely want to keep that. We're using that. Oh yeah, it shows who it's on. But yeah, the Gloves of Power might be one that we, we can pop. That one never. What is this one? The Moondrop Pendant. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Is that even equipped on anybody? That one gives us Dancing Lights. Okay. Yeah, it's that one for now. Thank you. Oh, that hit the spot. You have all of your, uh, I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. So all your spell slots are back, right? <laughs> Perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Bro, I'm giving Sincerely, you valuable though. items. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Yeah, you fucking better, bro, because you're kind of you're kind of making me upset right now. I just gave you an item. That condition of yours is a very expensive one, Gale. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. All right. All's well that ends. 
Not All right. as bad as it could Now, have. if we are gonna... Mm, man, everybody's health is real bad, so... Well, not everybody's, but... <laughs> My faith protects me. And I, our only option really is to use potions. Do I really want to do that? Ah, because we don't have any spells choice. to do it. We don't have any rests to do it. Yeah, I think I, I think maybe rest. we just need to do our long rest. We have plenty of camp supplies. We've been managing so far, so it's time. Okay, anybody have any events they need to do? I don't see any exclamations. Time to press ahead. I have a lot on my mind. Alright, since we just gave you something, we might have some new dialogue with you. Go ahead. We'll do our rounds. I'm listening. Nope, nothing from you. Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Yeah, for real, though. Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Okay, fair enough. Also, I feel like user interface is down. I feel like the music volume is already well balanced to not overtake. Uh, some games aren't so good at that. Um, so I'm going to put the music volume back up. The sound effects volume, every time that dice roll comes up, it always comes in hot. And I thought that was this, but it must not be because that thing's down to a 60. And that shit's still loud. So... Yeah, I don't know. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder it is very how literal. he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. It's not my favorite either. Um, can you tell me more about your history? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? Ooh, okay. I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Guess we're Access not that close. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. How does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. In theory, huh? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. So, about you biting me. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Tone it down, buddy. <laughs> I need to know how we'll feed you in the future. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons, teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. 
yeah, honestly, I'm fine with that. Sounds good. Glad we could agree. As am I. I'm starting to feel a little peckish already. Okay, we kind of already know. Didn't we already talk to you about Roth's deal? But let's go ahead and do it again. Uh, what do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. Catch-22. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. Trade one master for another, huh? Oh yeah, that's one of the dialogue choices, because of course. You'll be a slave either way. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know, Cazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Fine. What's on your mind? Okay, I think we're good. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Every time we come to camp, we pet. Scratch, scratch. Here we go. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of I, course. I would never change my mind. Lead the way. Yep, getting drinks with our girl, Shadow. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. All right, I need to find some better casual clothes for her. When we actually find clothes, we need to, we need to be checking them, seeing if they, they look better. Um, all right. I wouldn't dream of missing it. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. <laughs> hey, I... <laughs> well, I was honestly taking it pretty to begin, quick, but... I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? How about to survival? Very practical. Yep. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Now tell me something about yourself. I know tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Let's see. Dro, share memories of growing up in the Underdark. You must have an extraordinary affinity for the darkness. I'm jealous. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Man, poor girl looks like she has a black eye right now. I'm not sure what else I can say. Sounds like you just need a little more liquid inspiration. Ain't that the truth. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. It's like the game knows me. light. The others will be awake soon. There's that wound.
Might be too early to push things, but... Look deeply into her eyes. What? Oh, nothing. You're just beautiful. I know. <laughs> but you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. I hope there will be more to come. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. Okay. Hell yeah to the insight check. Let the moment pass. Who do you think I am? You know, if you want something, I think you should take it. Where's that hand going, <laughs> Bernack? <laughs> when in doubt, use your words. Better that than to just kiss somebody when they might not want it. It's my thoughts anyway. That didn't hurt, did it? Why would it hurt? A little tingle. No, far from it. Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Hell yeah, first date with Shadowheart. Got a kiss out of it, too. All's well, I hope. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the night we spent together. I was going to say the very same thing. As soon as I worked up my courage a little. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. That night meant a lot to me, and I hope there's more to come. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. You know, I'm sure that I and everybody else online is probably romancing the same person. But there are some people that we haven't met that might be interesting as well, so. Um, but anyway, let's see. Tell me more about the Mother Superior. I'm not sure what else I can say, at least until I can remember more. She taught me. Trained me punished me. Often, I think I feel her influence when the wound pains me. Not even memories, just glimpses, impressions. Perhaps the wound is her doing, something Lady Shah bid her to do. I don't know. Something tells me that we're gonna, like... This, this Mother Superior is somebody we're gonna have to kill. How much you want to bet? Like, honestly, I wonder, I, I wonder, I really do. I wonder if the Mother Superior is actually, like, not really, she, she might be doing her own thing. She might be playing her own game. And I wonder if she's the one who took our memories and she took them because we found it out. But we think that it's because we have this mission. But really, we're doing something for Mother Superior, and she doesn't want us to remember anything about it. There, there's something going on there. Um, did I just crash? Nope, that was weird. Okay. My computer just went to desktop for some reason. You guys probably didn't see it, but that was weird. Hold on, I'm going to stop my recording and make sure everything's okay. I don't know what happened there. Alright, all seems to be okay. Not sure what happened, but... Um, Shadowheart here's got stank face. 
Let's see, do I... Nah, I think, I think we'll talk about this later. Yeah. Okay. I hope you're keeping well, friend. Okay, and let's do our symbiotic entity. <laughs> I love these animations. Yeah, get it, Vernak. Get it. Oh, get. Oh, 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 went a little spicy there for a second. Go again. Go again. Go on. Where's the spicy? And, and, there's the spicy. Oh, there's the spicy. Okay. Yeah, get it. Those are some good moves. <laughs> Alright, it's a new day. Is there any new dialogue? Okay, no exclamations at the very least. So, I think we are just gonna go. Okay. Um, okay, she's got something new again. Defender of the people. Okay, act weapon. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. Dude, we are on such a roll with her. Yeah, I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. Okay, we're not forcing our way in. We're being invited in. Let's go. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Look at her. Teenage Shadow Heart. Worshippers of Shar. Kind of a cool mask. Creepy. She asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shar. That's all I remember. Something sparks in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. Yeah, we read that. So she was a Salunite, and then she was saved while she was doing this. Wow, so she literally was a Salunite. Her family was probably Salunite. And then she ended up switching sides because the Shar saved her. You look like you were wearing a moonstone. Isn't that commonly worn by Selenites? <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Selenites mm. claim something doesn't mean they own it. Okay. That offended her a little bit, but, like, she said that she didn't remember a lot before, she just remembered fleeing, so... Some of her memories might be gone from when she was a Selenite. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shar. You feel like you owe your life to her. Lady Shar. But yes, her and those who saved me 
and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her, which was often. You must have been important to her. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission, after all. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot Don't on her. Mind. And, well, in it. Played at the ready. Okay, so this is an action. It only lasts two turns, so... This is the sort of thing that if you're going to pop it before jumping into battle, you really got to know you're about to start the battle. Let's move. Sharp as ever. Two steps at a time. Okay. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. You've got your thing popped, so you're good. No time to dally. eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping oh. of bones and oh a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Okay. Druid? Yeah, it's 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 a null. Destroy it. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Damn, As the light fades brutal. from her eyes, the null within her dies too. Stillborn. Okay, so I think time did pass during all of that, so those, those like, things that we popped didn't st stick, but that's okay. Um, okay, do I want opportunity, or am I gonna want to use this? That's only a 1d4. This has potential for more damage. Okay, what are the HP pools on these guys? Ooh, these ones are down. This is the only one who's up. That means these guys are gonna... Yeah, let's hit anybody who's down, I feel like, because we're gonna have advantage, and they're gonna turn into gnolls if we don't destroy them right away. Okay, so that's the next one to go. We're not gonna be able to kill it. Therefore, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it gets up or not, but... My favor. Um... Let's see. Ignis. Watch it. That hyena's going for help. It's going for help? Interesting. Okay. path. 
ready to foot. Okay, I don't think... I think he's the only one who has a lockdown ability, so he might try and put that one to sleep, because it's probably going to take off by the sounds of things. I could also just try and outright kill it. Guiding Bolt could do it. Oh, one HP away from finishing it. Is what it is, I guess. Torment. No. I'm upset. Another step forward. Stop two of them at least. No time to waste. God, I keep fighting. Okay. Don't really have any AoEs to like slow them down or anything. Let's see. HP is gonna make this fight so much harder. We could have done one fight and then set up for the next one. Now flank, now smart. Can we reach the one HP? No. Okay. Okay. Total twenty-four hit points for sleep, unless I. Give, give it a higher level. Mm, okay. Okay, this is concentration, so I'm going to try and keep you from getting hit. Nice. Okay, next turn we'll move that moonbeam to somebody else. As long as we maintain concentration. They got a couple range units here, so we'll see.
Let me strike true. <laughs> Okay. Um, that was another mirror image gone. How many do I have left? Are they gone or no? I think I have two still, right? Um, what was that that just popped up? I missed it. Um, okay. Can I? No. I was gonna see if I could get close enough for a thunder wave, but that might not be a smart deal anyway. One HP short again. Time to push my luck again. Wait. You lost your concentration? Why? That must have been what popped up. Somebody must have hit me. Oh, I was hit. Okay. Man, they came for me, huh? Boots have seen everything. And level up, cool. There we go. There's a level four for us. Two steps at a time. Um, does Moonbeam not hurt me? Oh, you know what? I think it only matters if you, if it gets moved. Well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't show red here, though, so I'm assuming that it doesn't hurt me. Where do I go from here? Call down a beam of light that damages any creature that enters the beam or starts its turn in the light. I mean, it doesn't say anything about it not doing friendly fire, but... Got to focus. Moving. Okay. You'd think it would show you, but it's fine. I'm not mad. Okay, dumb hyena. I mean, I say that, but I did literally just run through it myself, so can I really say that? Okay, they have high ground advantage. This fucking sucks. They can attack a lot for some reason. Fuck you, bro. Pawn to cleric four. <sighs> um, let's see. That should give him disadvantage unless he disengages or takes the opportunity attack. Take two, two. Okay, he took the opportunity attack. He almost ran into the moonbeam, too.
on my way. No! You're fine. How far do you have to move? What? Oh, wait, no, it's further out that way. I thought <laughs> I thought my character was there and had to move there, but it's the opposite. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's see, does that require... Yep, it requires sight. Makes sense. This is my time. Coming through. What gave you bless? What did we do that gave you bless? I'm not really sure. On my way. Ooh, okay. Well, if he gets to attack all day. I was gonna say, those two misses. But then he just kept going. With haste. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, this will finish it. Moonbeam's kind of awesome. Don't know that everywhere. The concentration does make it so it's like a it's a thing, but get over here. Get over here and help. Okay, he stabilized, which is good. Okay. Um, we've gone over time. So in the next one, we will do our level up. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll level up and loot these guys. So have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba 90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.